Good morning, everyone. My name is Dr. John Granito. I'm the Dean for the College of Osteopathic Medicine at California Health Sciences University. It's my distinct pleasure to welcome you to this Class of 2024 White Coat Ceremony. At this time, I will ask everyone to please rise for the processional of our students of the Class of 2024. Welcome again, everyone. I will remind you, maybe take this moment to double check your phones and assure that they're on silent right now. You are welcome to take photos during the event as you remain in your seats and be assured we have professional photography and video uh, 
being recorded today, and that will be available. At this time, I'd like to call to the stage our a cappella group made up of our student doctors to sing the national anthem. all be seated. What a wonderful rendition of the national anthem. Again, we thank our student doctors, led by choir director Ron Yonato from the class of 2024. Again, it is my honor to welcome you to this inaugural ceremony postponed from last year because of our national pandemic. It's my honor also to First, welcome our president, Flo Dunn, and members of the Board of Trustees who are seated here with us this morning. I also welcome the faculty who teach our students on a daily basis, all seated here in their white coats on the stage. And like any complex and sophisticated event, it's behind the scenes staff that you don't see that make this event run seamlessly. And I applaud the staff who are all here with us today and sprinkled about the theater. A special thank you and welcome to the guests and the family members who have joined us on this historic event seeing their loved ones from the class of 2024. Student doctors, I thank you for the diligence and seriousness that you have 
shown in taking your studies so far and the patience with which you've demonstrated as we postponed this event on more than one occasion. Recall when you interviewed with us, the faculty recommended you and we chose you all to be here for a reason and I'm confident that you will continue to meet the challenge. I'm also very proud that the CHSU community of students better represents the populations we serve through our university and medical communities focused efforts on diversity, equity, and inclusion in medicine and in medical education. I want to tell you a brief history of the white coat and why we do this ceremony. Lab coats that you see the faculty wearing, the long version, were first worn by scientists to protect their skin and their clothing as they were working in laboratories. Over a hundred years ago, at that time, physicians wore a very formal costume of dress, mostly professional gentlemen at the time, black frock coats, black pants, a white shirt, black vest, even a top hat, maybe a cane, gold watch. Physicians made house calls to their patients' homes in this formal attire in an attempt to inspire respect and trust amongst their patients. Originally, medicine was practiced based mostly on tradition, observation, and apprenticeship by following another physician. And that's how young physicians learned. Then discoveries like the germ theory were proven, the basis for how vaccines have been developed for over 100 years. In 1910, medical education then was overhauled and rigorous curriculum were added, including research in laboratories and formal clinical experiences. At that time, diploma mills closed and medical degrees, which were previously obtained just through apprenticeships, were no longer sanctioned. Now, along with this academic overhaul, and to distinguish themselves from older physicians, these new academically trained physicians began to wear the white coat to symbolize that they too were embracing science. And so that's how it became the official costume worn by doctors today. The first official white coat ceremony was in 1993 at Columbia University although the University of Chicago claims they were the first in 1989. Throughout the years, grants from the Arnold P. Gold Foundation support events financially all throughout the United States, and students have received a pin today from the Arnold P. Gold Foundation that they can add as their first piece of bling to their white coats. The teaching of professionalism and medical ethics is a vital part of all medical school curricula now, and developing a white coat ceremony was thought to be one of the first steps towards that professional identity formation. And therefore, this ceremony signifies the beginning of your medical student journey, obviously postponed, <laughs> which will end with you receiving your long white coat when you enter residency. It is now with great pleasure that I invite our keynote speaker, Rebecca Rodriguez Regner, DO, to deliver our address to the students. You can read her wonderful bio in your program. We're proud to have Dr. Rodriguez Regner here today because of her accomplishments and her passion to improve healthcare by helping shape policy at the national level. Dr. Rodriguez.
Thank you to Dr. and Dean John Granado for having me to speak at the California Health Sciences University College of Osteopathic Medicine. It is truly an honor and a privilege to be part of your memorable white coat experience in this ceremony. As I stand here before you, I can recall the excitement and the joy and the relief that whew, you guys made it. Take a breath, live in this moment to experience the joy and recall the hard work and sacrifice it took for you to get to this place in your education and training. Everyone is so proud of you. As Dr. Grenado was saying, at the end of the 19th century, the white coat became known as the cloak of compassion, a symbol of the caring and hope patients expect to receive from their physicians. The white coat symbolizes the other critical part of your medical education, a standard of professionalism, caring, and an emblem of trust you must earn from your patients. Today, as you have your white coat placed upon you, you accept to be held to the highest of standards by your classmates, teachers, family, and community. It is important to reflect upon, why did you go into medicine? Everyone has their specific reasons, but we all take the torch to serve people. We commit ourselves to recognize and treat each patient encounter with the osteopathic tenets that we learn, mind, body, and spirit. We are here to serve and take care of people, our family, and our community. You are here at CHSSCO.com to be part of something greater, to create a community of cultural health and wellness, and to grow the Central Valley. The educational design of your school is innovative, technologically amazing, and strong with your local staff support. The school is unique to incorporate Central Valley region culture, nutrition, and rotation sites here in your hometown, so then you can have the opportunity to serve your community for years to come. This school is exceptional to help develop you as physicians and provide to the underrepresented community and learn the second most important language. The systems-based approach, teamwork approach for your development and opportunity for research and community is so special here. As your school gives you 100% plus with education and training, always remember to give back. My lifelong mentor, Dr. Craig Phelps, is a great example. He has always been the most giving of his time and teachings to his students, medical school, and his community. He has instilled to me that no matter what specialty you choose, you are there to help people. People will come to you because they are ill, injured, scared, or wanting reassurance that they are healthy. Dr. Phelps, along with my dad, encouraged me to believe that no dream is too big. If you want to be a physician at the Olympics, go for the gold. If you want to cure a disease, make it happen. If you want to do a million stellar surgeries, go get it. If you want to start a foundation, impact the world. All is possible with hard work, determination, and a strong support system. I would like to leave you with these important words from a very special book that inspires me, and I also read to my three-year-old son frequently. The book is called You're Here for a Reason by Nancy Tillman. You're here for a reason, it's totally true. You're part of a world that is counting on you. Life works together with the good and the bad, the silly, the awful, and happy and sad. To paint a big picture, we can always see a picture, this region, that needs you most definitely. Remember the next time a day goes all wrong, to somebody else you will always be strong. I would just say that you're here for a reason. If you think you're not, perhaps you forgot. A piece of the world that is precious and dear would surely be missing if you weren't here. If not for your smile, your laugh, and your heart, this place we call home would be minus a part. 
You are now a lifelong learner. You will not know all the answers, but that is what your colleagues and your friends that you sit next to and people that you meet along the way are for. Medicine is a teamwork effort, and your medical school is here to support you. I ask that you remind yourself every so often in your career five things. Why did you go back into medicine? To give back to your community and your medical school. To pay it forward and keep helping future students to be successful. To take time to keep up your own health and wellness so that you can be at your best to take care of others. And recognize your accomplishments. Celebrate the difference you make every day to people around you. Congratulations, best of luck in your endeavors. If you can imagine it, you can become it. If you can dream it, you can achieve it. Thank you. Thank you for your most inspiring address, Dr. Rodriguez Regner. I hope many of our students follow your example to advocate for change, both nationally and locally, to achieve our mission to improve healthcare outcomes and also advance healthcare access and equality for our diverse population. We will now begin with the presentation of the White Coats. I'll ask the first row of students stand and queue up. And while they're doing that, I'd like to recognize and thank the Osteopathic Physicians and Surgeons of California, the OPSC, for their generous donation of white coats to all three DO schools in California. The students have a patch on their white coats that reflects their student membership in the OPSC. At this time, we'll call Dr. Ann Van Garcia, Associate Dean, to read the names of the students receiving their white coats. Shahab A. Al Najjar. Al Salihi. <laughs> Iman Bakai. Alexis Rochelle Manalaisai Basa. <laughs> Karina Basmajan. Miriam Berry. <laughs> Ms. 
David Brown. Colin Carpenter. <laughs> Caesar Casas. Megan Chesesi. <clears throat> Fun Veronica Dang. Aaron M. Davis. Jake Dertinger. Patricia Joyce DeYoung Kenai. <laughs> Lucas Dohill. Megan Fideli. <laughs> Joshua J. Garcia. Laura Gutierrez Rivera. John Hansen. Nurit Mia Hirsch.
Brianna May Holcomb. Sarah Holzman. Edward Hu. Zachary Joss. <laughs> Sophia Katz. Obeyed Khan. <laughs> Rahil Kaskawale. Jason Kim. <laughs> William Kim. Christine King. <laughs> Rosie Kumar. Zaid Curdy. <laughs> Tyler Laws Mahe. Ronald Andrew Yanado.
Angud Man. Brianna Martinez. <laughs> Maria Melgarejo Rubias. Grant Mello. Grace Miller. Marissa Monazami. <laughs> Velodia Moravian. Tan Win <laughs> Taylor Noons. Natalie Pardo. <laughs> Bibi Aisha Patel. Raj Patel. <laughs> Saloni Patel. Natalie Pena Brockett.
Ricky Pendergrass. Mika Pham. Samantha Phillips. <laughs> Helena Saleh. Mateen Salezai. John Schulze. Sonia Shah. <laughs> Jonathan Shabazian. Dina Chakran. <laughs> Severson Stahl. Jeffrey Storm. <laughs> Victoria Sun. Versha Swami.
Sushil Talraja. Michelle Tan. John Toffick. Andrea Torres Perez. Tanner Van S. Haley Vietti. Alicia Willard. Jonathan Wong Sava. Mac Wu. Carter Wamong Yang. Arwa Yakub. Nathan Zapata Purdue. Soheil Zaruchan. So let's have a hearty congratulations and another big round of applause for all of our student doctors. At this time, I would like to welcome Dr. S Dr. Lisa Chun, Associate Dean, to the podium to lead the osteopathic oath.
Good morning, everyone. Please rise. You'll find the oath in the back of your program. Osteopathic students, osteopathic physicians, and those physicians who are wanting to repeat the oath, please repeat after me. I do hereby affirm my loyalty to the profession I am about to enter. I do hereby affirm my loyalty to the profession I am about to enter. I will be mindful always of my great responsibility to preserve the health and life of my patients. I will be mindful always of my great responsibility to preserve the health and life of my patients. To retain their confidence and respect, both as a physician and a friend, who will guard their secrets with scrupulous honor and fidelity. To retain their confidence and respect both as a physician and a friend, who will guard their secrets with scrupulous honor and fidelity. To perform, to perform faithfully my professional duties. To perform faithfully my professional duties. To employ only those recognized methods of treatment consistent with good judgment and with my skill and ability. Keeping in mind always nature's laws and the body's inherent capacity for recovery. I will be ever vigilant in avoiding in the gen in, in aiding in the general welfare of the community. Sustaining its laws and institutions. Not engaging in those practices which will in any way bring shame or discredit upon myself or my profession. I will give no drugs for deadly purposes to any person though it be asked of me. I will endeavor to work in accord with my colleagues in a spirit of progressive cooperation. And never by word or by act cast imputations upon them or their rightful practices. I will look with respect and esteem upon all those who have taught me my art. To my college, I will be loyal and strive always for its best interests and for the interests of the students who will come after me. To my college, I will be loyal and strive always for its best interests and for the interests of the students who will come after me. I will be ever alert to further the application of basic biologic truths to the healing arts. And to develop the principles of osteopathy, which were first enunciated by Andrew Taylor Still. Thank you very much. You may be seated. Thank you, Dr. Chun, for leading us in that uh, oath. And thanks to Dr. Van Garcy for doing a miraculous job of pronouncing everyone's name. <laughs> All right, student doctors. Wearing a white coat, when someone sees you in the clinical setting in a short coat, they'll know that you're a learner. Its symbolization is part of the costume you wear as a student, which you know is performing the art of medicine. In medical school, though, we also give you the scientific and clinical tools to become doctors. So just as importantly as this white coat symbolizes other critical parts of your medical education, the standard of professionalism, caring, 
and humanism and the emblem of the trust you must earn and display to your patients and their families. To the families and friends who are gathered here with us this morning, you already know this has been an unprecedented time for our students. They have been and will be busier than ever before. Please don't be surprised if they need to miss an important family gathering because of the serious work that their studies require. They do spend much of their time studying and most of their days studying. <laughs> All of this is a commitment to the profession that they work uh, hard and yet still retain some humanism. And that's why we do the ceremony. The humanism is making sure that the patient in front of you knows that they are the most important thing on the physician's mind during that encounter. That's a powerful connection as a human being with another human being. Patients respect that and the connections that come with seeing a doctor and the trust those patients will put in you is unlike any other profession. We all develop our professionalism through relationships, reflection, resilience. Those are some of the things you wear all the time, even when you don't have your white coat on. But when you put the white coat on each and every time you put it on, I put mine on, it reminds us of the honor that it is to serve humankind. The honor to provide care for another human being when they're at their worst. And so remember, your words are powerful to them. At the end of the day, all your patients want is your opinion, your advice, your education, and more importantly, perhaps, your understanding of why they're there. At some point in your career, you'll shift from the goal you have set to get into medical school, to graduate from medical school, to get a residency, at some point you'll shift those goals from yourself to something bigger. You're, you're all here to truly do what you said, to help people, but it's not really about you anymore. It's about you getting to be the best so that the patients can trust you. Okay, you now, and obviously postponed officially, are part of one of the most noble, time-honored, and impactful professions. You will change healthcare, the landscape in this valley, for generations to come. At this time, I will ask the class of 2024 to please stand, turn around and face the audience, Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you the CHSU Com Class of 2024. And as you remain standing, I'll ask the audience now to stand and show your support for the class of 2024. And, and while you're still standing, I forgot, I messed up. Well, the class of 2024 Please show your appreciation to the family and the loved ones gathered here today. The audience, uh, will you please uh, be seated? And at this time, our students first will recess out of the building following the faculty marshals to my left as they guide you out row by row from my left. 
please wait for Dr. Gregory and Dr. Katamakolo to escort you out. Invited guests, I will ask that you please remain in your seats until all of the students have recessed from the building. On behalf of the trustees, the administration, faculty, staff, and our students, I would like to thank you all for joining us today, including those of, us who, those of you who have joined us virtually. Guests, you may now feel free to exit and uh, uh, off the side doors and the south doors of the building to meet your students outside. We appreciate your cooperation. <laughs>